and today I went to several stores and this is what I got for household and groceries stock up that kind of thing this over here is Sam's Club when I went in they had the disinfecting wipes at the checkout counter so I went ahead and got that I didn't want them to run out before I you know went around the store so I went ahead and bought that and I got this. I don't have the receipt for this, but I know the price, so I can figure out what it costs. But here is, I bought this, and then I continued on in the, into the store. The Members Mark Disinfecting Wipes are $8.98. It's a four-pack. And with tax, it was $9.61. So... It's always good for me to stock up on this. I love to use these and you know they're hard to find in my area and whenever they have them I go ahead and buy a pack so that I don't run out because you know th this day and age it's hard to find this here anyway. All right and then I decided to do a little stock up on my uh, beef base and chicken base. These I like to get because it's let me see how many this makes so it's one cup of water to one teaspoon of this or one gallon of water to a third of a cup the entire container makes five gallons so this makes five gallons of beef stock and this makes five gallons of chicken stock and it's only four dollars and ninety eight cents for each one and I like that it only takes up this much space in my pantry and of course once I open it it goes in the fridge but um, the ones I have in the fridge I've had for a while this lasts a long time so really it's basically four ninety eight for five gallons of beef broth and chicken broth or stock I don't know whatever you know but really good deal and that's it from Sam's that's what I got at Sam's now I went to Walmart in my area where I live Sam's is next door to Walmart and so this is what I got at Walmart I did not get a whole lot I went ahead and got six of the hot dog chili sauce I looked at the carbs on it and it's just two carbs per serving and 10 calories per serving so um you know i mean to put you know just have a little little bit of chili dog sauce on top of a hot dog wiener if that's what we're having or on top of a burger or whatever um so 50 cents each i got six of them and last week I had bought this and it was so good. I, I made a, I made, what did I make? I made chimichangas. I used the whole bag and made chimichangas. So I got another one of these. I meant to look at Sam's to see if they had something like this, but I, I completely forgot. I had so much on my mind, so. But I had gotten this already at Walmart and it's four twenty-four, and the last thing I got at Walmart was this box of large eggs, sixty eggs, and it's been it's been a minute since I've bought eggs. Um, the last time I bought eggs was a while back, and it was a big, massive box um, that I split with my oldest daughter, and I've just gone, you know, I finally went through them all, so it was time to buy eggs, but not a bad deal on the eggs, so 60 eggs for $4.75, and here is my Walmart receipt, so all of these items totaled with tax $12.83, so I feel good about that, I'm glad I could, st I, I had none of this, so I'm glad I could stock up on that, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another Taco Tuesday something with this. I may make the same thing again. Those chimichangas were really good. I also went to Dollar General and got some deals. Couldn't get exactly what I wanted. Um, the deals I was going after 
it was like I hit two dollar general stores and I was just like you know what I'll figure something out so this is what I figured out um, not even the Febreze items I wanted but I managed to come up with a deal so I wanted to get over twenty five dollars worth of stuff so the um, this Febreze fabric was three dollars and fifty five cents and there was a dollar digital coupon for it and this let's see the double pack of the car air fresheners was five dollars and this ocean scent Febreze fabric was four dollars and there was a three dollar coupon off if you bought two Febreze items now these are all digital coupons the game flings were three dollars and ninety five cents and there was a dollar coupon off on that the Tide Pod this package of Tide Pods was four ninety five and it had a two dollar digital coupon let's see this this has fourteen in it and this has sixteen in it so the last thing I got was these three pack of shit classic disposable razors it was four dollars and fifty cents and there was a three dollar coupon off on that so really only ended up being a dollar fifty and plus this all totaled over twenty five dollars before any coupons came off so I qualified for the five dollars off of twenty five digital coupon and here is my receipt so let's see see that five dollars kind of comes off in little bitty increments you see like that a little bit off each item so right here before tax it was ten dollars and ninety five cents with tax twelve forty two and this before tax is only uh like a dollar seventy more than the original deal I went in to get so I say that's not bad coming up with you know something on the spot because you know they were out of um, some of the things I was going after but this this is okay these are good products to for for me to stock up on this is my favorite scent for the car little car clips this smells like um, flight of passage at Animal Kingdom at Disney World this smells this bamboo scent smells really really good so good stock up items here all right I'm gonna put this up and I'll be back all right y'all I forgot that I picked this up at Sam's Club it's the members mark purified water 45 bottles for 336 so I'm gonna add that into my budget and then I also went to tractor supply I got this 36 pound bag of cat food is what the cats like and I got another bag let's see the, the cat food is $17.99 and I got another bag of the pine pellets these are $5.99 for 40 pounds and here is my tractor supply receipt and with tax $25.66 which is pretty dang good price for cat food and litter this is the majority of the cats use this they have their own room with their own toys and their own everything and the ones in the in, uh, in that part of the house use this here is my keto menu plan for this upcoming week so today September 19th I will be making my Nana steak and some of those roasted vegetables that I got from uh, Ramey's yesterday and this is just it's just something that my Nana used to make and it's it's made with tenderized beef which I've got some from the freezer that I'm thawing out right now um, okay tomorrow on Sunday September 20th I'm gonna make I'm gonna use some of the ground beef that I got yesterday at Ramey's and make meatloaf muffins and just have a side salad I've still got plenty of romaine lettuce in the fridge Monday September 21st I'm going to make chicken wings I've got plenty of chicken wings in my freezer so I'm gonna make that and just have it with green beans on Tuesday September 22nd 
I'm going to use those wraps I got at Walmart, and I'm going to make chimichangas like I did last week. They were really, really good. And what I may do is make them up and then freeze them. On Wednesday, September 23rd, I'm going to have pan seared tilapia. I've got tilapia in my freezer. So, and I'll just have that with steamed broccoli. On Thursday, September 24th, I've got plenty of chicken. I think I'll probably throw out some chicken legs and do a sheet pan chicken with some of those vegetables. Some of those pick sweet vegetables I got at Ramey's. And then Friday, September 25th is leftovers. Alright, let's take a look at the food and household budget for this month, September of 2020. This week, um, the Ramey's, I used that EBT card, so that was zero for me. And then I uh, went to the discount grocery store and got those vegetables for $2.14. Then this morning at Sam's, the wipes, the disinfecting wipes, were $9.61. The other stuff, the chicken base, beef base, and water was $14.25 when you add tax. And the Walmart items were $12.83. And then Dollar General was twelve forty two, and that all totals fifty one twenty five. And I go over here. See, last week I had one seventy nine sixty two left. I take away today, this weekend's balances that I added up, and I still have one twenty eight thirty seven left for next week. And you know, doubt I need it, but we will just have to wait and see. Well, y'all, there are my shopping hauls that I did this morning, and that's my budget up to this point in September of 2020. Um, I did go to the thrift store this morning, and I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. I found some really good deals. Um, something I've been watching, and grabbed it, and some other stuff that I just kind of happened up on, and... But, um, yeah, I'll do that separate, and I might, um, do a cook with me tomorrow afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Um, I may go ahead and pre-cook some of the items for this upcoming week. We'll just have to see how the afternoon goes. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, I need to cut the grass again. Um, we'll just have to see what I have time for. And, you know, I was intending to do the Walgreens stuff, but... It's almost like it's too much to for me to invest in learning how to do that. I only have, you know, work the full-time job, and I have a household to take care of, and pets and everything, and I've only got so much time to dedicate to learning how to do something. I do know how to do Dollar General. I've got that figured out. But I've only got so much time to, you know, to, to devote to things like learning how to do like Walgreens and CVS and all these other stores. I mean, and I know there's really good deals out there, but there's, a, a, you know, your, your time is valuable. So that's, I don't know, I may not do, I may not be doing the Walgreens or CVS or anything. I may just stick with my grocery store, Walmart, Sam's, and Dollar General because I know how to do all those things and it, you know, it works for me and I don't have to spend the weekend time to learn how to do everything but um that's gonna be it for this video and i will see y'all later be watching for that thrift store video see y'all later bye